Hey, this is Andrew Brown. In this video, I want to connect to a Windows instance using RDP. So what we'll do is go ahead and launch an EC2 instance. Uh, this shouldn't be uh, too difficult. And we'll go ahead and launch ourselves an instance. And so I'll just say my web server, and we'll go ahead and choose uh, Windows. And here I want to choose something um, a little bit larger than a T2. I'm gonna go to a, um, a T2 medium, or even, yeah, a T2 medium seems fine. And I do not want, actually, no, I do need a key pair. So I've actually made one here before. I'm gonna go ahead and delete it so we can see the whole process here. So just take just a moment to get rid of the old one, which is under key pairs here. So let's go ahead and delete that. Delete, but what I'm gonna to need to do is generate a new one. So we'll go create a new key pair. I'm gonna call this Windows RDP. And we'll download the RSA, and we'll download the PAM, and we'll go ahead and do that. That's gonna download that file here, which we are going to need to utilize here shortly after. I'm just gonna put this in the default um, security group so I'm not making uh, a mess of things. We'll drop this down, and we'll need to uh, set our uh, EC2 S SSM role, which I've shown you so many times. Um, and then we'll go all the way down to the bottom, just double check things, everything seems fine. We'll go ahead and launch this instance. So now we will need to wait for this instance to launch and uh, I'll be back here in just a moment, okay? All right, let's take a look here and, and see if the instance is ready. So our, our checks are passed. We'll go ahead and connect. And you'll notice we have a sessions manager, which we can establish a connection, but it's not that interesting for uh, Windows servers. I might as well just show you here. Our real goal is RDP, but if you notice, it will connect us into uh, into this instance, and it's gonna start up PowerShell, okay? Uh, if you're wondering what version of PowerShell, I think we say get um, version, or sorry, it's like PS version table, and so we can see that this is running version 5.1. 5, 5 I'm gonna terminate that. That is not our real goal here. Our real goal is to uh, connect via RDP. So um, if we go to our RDB client, notice we have two options. We have connect using the RDB client or connect using the fleet manager. Uh, so for this one, you can download the remote desktop file. This is an RDP file. A lot of people with Windows, uh, work with Windows machines is very familiar with this. And you have to have the remote desktop client installed. If you're on uh, Linux or if you're on a Mac, you're gonna have to install that. So you just type in uh, Windows desktop um, RDP uh, Mac OS. It's a program you download in Apple. So Microsoft Remote Desktop, it's totally free. Um, on Windows, it's already pre-installed. I don't have to do anything extra. But the idea here is that we have that file. And so if I open that file in my downloads and I double click that file, if I can find it here, wherever it is. Um, here it is. If I double click it, you're gonna notice it's gonna say, do you wanna connect? I'm gonna say yes. And it's gonna prompt me for a username and password. And so it's just trying to uh, establish that connection. Now we use the default um, the v default sub uh, security group and that's where we're running into problems because we have to have that uh, port open. So I'll just say Windows RDP SG. And we'll go ahead and just choose RDP here. We'll say from anywhere. So just say Windows RDP twice. We'll create that security group. And then I'm gonna go back to my instance and I can just attach it as an additional security group. So we'll go here to our security, change security groups. And I'm gonna go ahead and add the other one. We'll go add it and save it. And so now if I go back and I try to click that file, it should now establish a connection because the RDP port is open. And if it's not, then uh, yeah, it complained again. What I'm gonna do is just reboot the server, okay? So we'll go ahead and reboot that and I'll just wait for that to reboot. I'll just wait a couple of minutes, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can uh, connect via RDP now. Well, I already have the uh, desktop client file downloaded. However, since I've rebooted it, I'm not sure if that uh, address has changed. So I'm gonna download it again and just double click it. And so hopefully it will connect this time.
It sure is trying hard here today. Still no luck, so I'm going to go ahead and try it again. Usually it's not this tr uh, problematic to uh, establish a connection. Not sure why it's so hard here today. And it still doesn't work. I mean, the only thing that we didn't do that was different was the fact that when I, I did this, I did not let it choose whatever the default, um, uh, the default security group rules are. So we can go down here and take a look here at the security group. So here it would just open RDB traffic. That's all it's doing. And we've absolutely done that for sure. Because we go back here, let's just double check our instance and make sure that it is applied. So we go here, we'll go to security. And for inbound rules, I see all. Let's go to this one. Okay, uh, no inbound rules. So maybe we didn't save it. A little bit odd, but okay. We'll go to RDP here. I'll save from anywhere and we will save this. Did we maybe add it as an outbound rule? There, that's our problem. It was on the outbound. <laughs> so, I mean, it's automatically gonna allow outbound, so we don't need that. I'm gonna go back at, uh, back and double click that RDP file and we'll go connect. And so now we have a connection. Notice that it's asking us to uh, enter a password in. Um, so I'm gonna go over here. And the NetBIOS is whatever my local computer is. I don't wanna fiddle with that because I just want this to work. But the idea is that we're gonna say get password and then it wants us to upload the private key or put in the private contents. I'm just going to open that up here in VS Code and then copy over the contents. So just give me just a moment to do that. It should just take just a second here. And uh, I'll just open it up. Here we are. So here it is in the file. I'm going to go ahead and copy this whole thing. And I'm going to paste this in. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and say decrypt. And so now I have this password. I'm going to uh, copy it. And I'm going to make my way back over to our pop-up here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste that in and hit OK. And we'll say yes. And so now we should establish a connection via RDP. There we go. We'll see Windows spinning up here shortly. There it is. So that is RDP. Now that is one way to connect. Now imagine you don't want to enter all this stuff in. You can just go connect to Fleet Manager and click on Fleet Manager Remote Desktop. And this is a much more seamless experience. Um, here we do have to provide uh, the key pair still. So we'll go here and I'm just gonna say paste in the contents. I'm surprised it doesn't just let you select it from, well, I guess it would have, um, you would have downloaded it, but uh, surprised we can't just select it from um, EC2, but it maybe, or sorry, maybe EC2 does not store the, um, the, the, the public key and we only download it. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead here and just give it a moment. And so now we are within that EC2 instance. So that is two ways that you can use RDP on AWS. So very straightforward and we are done. So let's go ahead and tear our stuff down. So um, I'm gonna just disassociate the security group so that we can delete it. We'll just go ahead and I'm gonna move both of them. It wants the default, we'll leave the default on there. Okay, and uh, we'll go ahead and just tear this down. And while that is tearing down, I'm gonna go ahead and delete the uh, security group I created here. And I still have a, another one from before, I just wanna get rid of. We'll go ahead and delete those. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.